Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Days to Die on the PlayStation 4 with the Boring Old Gamer. We're just coming into day 103, it's two days to Horde Night. And that Horde Night, we are thinking, is going to be the final one of this series. So, in light of that, we are going to be um, setting everything to the max. So, today's jobs are, go to the trader... Oh, I'm already set up. I think I'll take some first aid kits as well, get a bit more money up. Um, he will take up to three sets of these, so I'll take two sets. Actually, no, I'll take all three. We've got plenty of them. Um, hmm, I could take some of them as well. Yeah, that'll give you a nice little bit of money, look. 2,600. Should I take those as well? Why not? That'll give me another 5,000. 1,600, yeah. So I'll take those along, sell those to the trader. I'm going to see if he's got Magnum Barrel. Because I need, well, would like one of those, really, because I'd like to be able to get a Magnum up and running. Because that's the only gun I haven't got at the moment. And then we're getting on the bike, and we're going to head out to the desert behind my house, which is this one over here. Let's see if we can find some cars. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to head up here and along this road and see what I can find. But I know there were some cars in that desert area. Whether I've dismantled them or not, I don't know. But ideally, I need some brass so that I can make some more bullet casings, so I can make more bullets. I have plenty of everything else. So that is the goal for today. And we shall see what happens. And if we come across any zombies on route, then they might get a slight headache as well. With old clubby boy here. Um, yeah. So, not... To, ooh, I forgot to check to see how well fed he was, actually. Oh, he's fine. Cool. So, yeah. I'm not overly fussed about... Um... um Finding food or getting more coal or anything now because uh, we've only got two days left. So we've got plenty of resources for those two days. Um, I do find Carla will probably grab it for the pure purpose of being able to make more gunpowder and therefore more bullets. But we've got 700 sniper rifle bullets, so I think we're probably going to survive the Horde Knight. Even though I am going to set it to maximum possible um, levels, really. Now, let's see if we can... Uh, well, I've never played it on maximum levels before, so... Something you like. Hi, Bob. So it'll be interesting to see what unfolds. Now with these you've got to put it up to five for him to buy them. Uh, would have thought we'd be getting more for them by now. But there you go. He might not buy this because he not oh he did. He normally only buys three stacks of stuff maximum. Oh wrong button. There we go, we've got 20,000 now. 25,000, right. So the idea is to find a magnum thingy and then as much ammunition as I can lay my little hands on. Ammo's weapons. He doesn't have any magnum bits. Right, we've got some bullet casings. We'll buy all of those. Um, shotgun shells. Yeah, why not? I know I've just made a load of them, but... More gunpowder. We'll have that as well. Bullet tips. Well, I could make them, but... Are they going to cost? Yeah, we'll buy them. Yeah, I've still got a little bit of a cough. This cold is hanging around quite a bit. 
Right, so that's everything out of there. Now, what was in this secret stash ammunition wise again? Now, uh, we don't have a chainsaw, Some more shotgun shells. We'll grab those. Ooh, some 762 rounds. We'll grab those as well. So the more ammunition I can have, the better. Because I don't know what I'm going to need. I'm not going to bother the shotgun slugs. That just means mucking about changing weapons over oil. Hmm. None of that. I now have all my first aid kits. You sell them for 506 each, and he spent paid 600 and something for all of them. He likes to profit here, doesn't he? Oh dear, nothing brass in there. No, that's just standard hat or self faucet. Nothing brass there. Mm, no brass there. Oh, some nitrate powder. We'll have that as well. Why not? Have a look at his weapons again. No. Oh, you disappoint me. You really do disappoint me, Mr. Trader. <coughs> oh dear. No, no brass. I thank you, kind sir. That's okay, Bob. Back over there. Well, we've got roughly the same amount of money as we came with, so I'm not complaining. We've got a few bits and bobs. Bits and bobs from Bob. Oh. oh dear. I've been a dad and a granddad for too long now. I'm making dad jokes while I'm breathing. Terrible. Grab the pasta. Grab the miso. Go and drop that in my bike. And then we'll head out to the desert. How much water have I got on me, by the way? 14. Plenty. Loads of water. Where we will find try and find cars to dismantle. There as well. That. Might as well put all this in there. Yeah. Right. Off to the desert. Here we go. Hmm. There's one. Oh, hey! Hopefully there's no zombies nearby. Oh, that's right on the edge of the radiation zone, look. Woo! Right. Ugh. Not much chance of uh, getting a radiator out of that. Because he's pretty knackered, but we'll try. Oh, I heard somebody! Very careful not to walk into the radiation zone. Come on, you. Come on. Trying to disrupt my uh, grabbing of car parts. Oh, it's glitched. Hopefully that means it's not more coming. No, no brass radiators. There is a bird's nest. More feathers. I saw something there as well. Oh, that's my mini bike. Ah. Uh. Right, so we don't want to go left. Go left, you end up in the radiation zone. There's another car. Oh, that was a good decision coming out here. He's empty. So let's see if we can get a radiator out of him. Oh, we've got one. That's a start. Cool. 
try and find another motorbike, um, another car. Well, there's that um, weird base place, isn't there? Oh, there's a car. Woo! Hopefully there's no zombies around here. Touch him as well. Uh, better wrench. Right, well, we'll use that one. Pop him in there. Because better wrenches give better equipment. Or better results, anyway. Keep me ears peeled for zombies. Still only one radiator. Oh, yeah. Never the cars in view. Quick look round the back of this place. There's cars in there. Oh. Oh. No, it doesn't. Probably dogs in here. I hear zombies. Oh yeah, she's up there. If I can do this from here. Might be alright. Just to annoy her. Just tease her a little bit. She can't reach me. <laughs> Hopefully, get another radiator or two. I'm just getting closer. Guessing they're the other side of the uh, mesh then. Oh, yes, hello, dear. Hello. search that from here that's ridiculous can i dismantle it from here then no Bummer. I'll let you have that one. Hello, dear. Are you dead yet? No. There you are. Oh, dear. Then I get another radiator. I've got two radiators. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look around, see if there's any more cars hidden away in here. Now there's a bin. I think they just give mechanical parts and stuff. There. Oh, there's a bit of brass in there. That's nice then. Been in there. Oh, I've got a new motor as well. New engine. <laughs> the wood, yeah, I could take that. Crash can. Um, got them. I'll take that. Right, that'll do. Got an extra brass radiator. 
battery in. Electrical parts. Full engine. That engine. Gunpowder. <coughs> Oil and springs can go in there. Put the frost radiators in there as well. And, uh, right, where's the road? So, northwards. Right. From here and head north. Yeah, I know. Okay, guys, I'm back. I am looking for cars. I'm heading north to find that road. Ooh. That's interesting. Ooh. Bubby boy at the ready. What's up here? Oh, if we can get up the ladder. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these before. It is a water tower. Ooh. wonder if it's actually got water in it. It has, and the water is now flowing out all over the desert. <laughs> Oops, I better uh, make a quick wooden frame and fill that hole up, hadn't I? That would be the responsible thing to do, wouldn't it? As I put a hole in the water tower, it'd be a good idea to fix it. Come on, let me put it in there. Come on. Oh dear. Oh, there's a backpack. I didn't see that. Well, um, yeah, there's water all over the side. Oh dear. Oopsie. Oops, dear. Sprain broken my leg. Which have I got some splints on me? Give it time to heal. Right, well, get on my bike and we'll go for a little ride. There you go. That'll do the job, won't it? Oh dear. Well, I hope nobody was relying on that water tower. <laughs> oh, there's a bin underneath there as well. Come on, up you go. Oh, I see a car in the distance. Let's go and see if we can get some more, another brass radiator. I doubt it as well, but there you go. You never know. You never know what they're going to have in them. Plenty of fuel, I know that much. Um, no, no brass radiator. Jim, I put the other two in the bike. Let's give him some fuel. Because he's getting a bit low. That in there. Fill that one. There. There's a house. Oh, is that the road I need? I can have a look on the map. No, that's not the road I need. The road I need is further north. Okay. Bye bye, zombie. Oh, look, there's another car. Ooh, there's a whole collection of cars. Ooh, and there's a town. Ooh. More cars for me. Ha ha ha. Oh, and a zombie. Bye bye, dear. Oh, enough ham. Very nice. And the zombies are coming. They heard me. 
And there's a deer in the distance, but we'll rip out that one later. You dead? You are. Paracetamol. Oh dear. What's in here? Feathers. Hey, whoopee. Come on in, matey. Oh, he's getting a bit warm. Oh dear. There's another radiator. Yay! That's good news. We might be able to make some bullets here. Oh, here comes Earl. Run up this way. Start on this car. Roll to arrive. Yeah, oh, I'm full up. Have I got any room in my bike to put anything? Not a lot. Radiator can go in there, the oil can go in there. And that's about it, really. Come on in, Earl. Hello, mate. Okay, you've got one swinging. Oh, two. That's not on. Nothing on you. Right, let's have a first aid kit. And I'll have another look at my bike, see if there's anything else I could put in here. Um, got some springs. I think that's it. Looks like it. I am going to have to beat up that car and go home. I could refill my bike a bit more as well. There we go. There's a bit more space now. Make sure there's no more zombies come in. That was a tree. Right, let's beat up this car and head home. <laughs> oh, that was efficient. Oh, look. Hello, chappy. Dead? You are. That didn't take much. Oh, some glue. I can. I can drop the sand. Don't need that. Yeah, I know. I'm cruel, aren't I? Right, home we go then. Yeah, I can't even harvest the zombies because uh, I ain't got any room to store their goodies. <coughs> May as well head along the road though. So I will be back tomorrow for another episode where we go off and get that drop. And we'll probably have a look around, see if we can find a magnum check, um, barrel. Um, so that we've got a nice little magnum to rock on Horde Night as well. So you guys take care. I will see you very, very soon. Keep smiling, keep safe, keep well, and enjoy yourselves. For an old gamer signing off for now. Bye-bye.